Hello YouTube, today I will talk about uh, the construction of the iWave station and I will show you some of the, uh, some stuff about save and load. Uh, first we have the project which is uh, whatever you see in the screen. Cards, effects, global settings, okay everything here is a project. Then we have uh, the combinations or combis which is here every each one of them it's a combination okay for example okay <clears throat> now uh, it's combi if I choose it it's combi has eight parts this is the eight parts Okay, and uh, if I go inside the part, each part has up to four wave sequencers. One, one to four, okay? Okay, now if I want to save uh, the combination with uh, all the parts and all the wave sequencers, I simply press right here and I will save it I can save in uh, three user cards and I can save 50 combis in each one of them now if I want to save uh, one part of the combi go back I go in parts okay this is part one part two part three etc if I want to save this part only I hit right here I press right and I simply save the part uh, this part part one and uh, here I press and I load uh, a part uh, I can save uh, parts in three user cards uh, 35 parts in each card Now This is part one uh, We have four wave sequencers If I want to load a different wave sequencer I press the name here and I load a different web sequence. <coughs> now, uh, each wave sequencer here, let's turn this off. It's a wave sequencer, uh, has an infinity number of waves or steps I can insert steps here zoom difficult to grab this okay I can have uh, basically infinite number of steps and waves now well um, while I'm editing this for example if I want to save this wave sequencer I simply press right here or the wave sequencer and I have uh, also three user cards 
to save a uh, wave sequencer. And if I want to load the wave sequencer. Okay, these are three user cards uh, with 32 wave sequencers. Uh, now, all, all these cards, these uh, user cards and whatever I edit and save here, uh, it's uh, one project. Everything we said are saved in one project. If I push here, file, export sound data, I wave station. I will save this project, for example. Okay, now I have uh, project A, import sound data, I will station, project A, I load it, and uh, now I saved all uh, the combis all the combis, all the parts, and uh, all the wave sequencers in uh, this particular project. If I want to import another project, simply import, load, and these are another three user cards of combis, wave sequencers, and parts. Now, here's a quick tip. Uh, for saving, editing, and uh, loading. If I choose, if I choose a combination, and I want to uh, edit this part here, this part one. For example, I load different web sequences. If I save the combination, if I press right and save. Uh, it will save all my changes uh, in the particular part, but uh, it will not overwrite my part here. It will not override my part. Uh, the changes uh, will apply only in the combination, on this combination. And uh, if I want to change this wave sequencer and editing or whatever I want. If I hit right uh, here in the part, I will save uh, this particular part in this slot with my new wave sequencer here with all changes I've done, but it will not affect. Uh, this particular uh, wave sequence. So, if I want to save a uh, part, I will hit right here. If I want to save and uh, doesn't bother the wave sequencer, if I want to save a wave sequencer, I hit right, uh, right here. And if I want to save a combination, I press right, right here, and will not affect anything else thank you very much guys uh, I hope to help you and uh, see you soon in the next iWave station uh, video tutorial thank you